Good evening, everyone. Hello, we are at the Zoo Lights in Jacksonville, yes. at the Jacksonville Zoo for another great event. This is one of their busiest events. Uh, we're gonna try to get as much footage as we can for you guys. Okay. Ideally, we're hoping, we're shooting for two hours. Uh, ideally, that's, that's like a really good time for the number of people that are here. It's busy, it's, but it's not like super, super crowded right now. So we'll see. There was still a lot of parking when we walked in. So with that being said, let's go. All right. So as we're walking in, it's not incredibly busy once you get pat right past the front. We'll see as we get towards the back though. Yeah. Because we're about 30 minutes late. Yeah. So it opened at 6 and I think it's, what are we at, 6.38 now? So. Now this is the second night. Yeah. Yeah, this is the second night. Say again, Bella. What do you smell? Burger. <laughs> It's uh, pungent, is what we'll go with. We'll go with pungent. I have to say right now, so we came here last year. This looks like way better yeah. than last year. Yeah. Like, this is nice. Yeah. Oh. So from the other side, you could you could probably see like the trunk. Yeah. Look, 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 look this way, Dad. Oh, and this one's a giraffe. Yep. <laughs> Do you like the snow? You like the snow, don't you? It would be better if it was real. <laughs> we don't have real snow in Florida. We have snow. We have the snow. towards the back of the zoo they have another snow machine there's definitely a lot less kids back here as there was in the other area where they're doing the s'mores so if you're looking to get away where it's a little less crowded i've come out to the snow machine out here in this area oh my 
supposed to be you know kind of looks like it might be a, it's supposed to be a snake you think it's supposed to be a snake what's this one right here a frog. I love the bamboo forest and I know the colors probably aren't showing up very well on this. Most likely just looks like blue, but got reds and greens throughout here. Yeah. Ooh, Bella's favorite. What's that, bug? Did you just put those lights out? Oh, 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 oh. A favorite. A butterfly. I like, I like There's lots of butterflies, isn't there? That's so pretty. Yeah, I have to say for sure, this is way better than last year. Mm -hmm. It. Uh, whale? A whale! Right, what kind of whale do you think it is? A uh, blue whale? A blue whale, yeah. But, but those are way bigger. Yeah, they are way bigger. What do you think of this compared to our summer spectacular lights? When we came out here to that. I would say scale of one to ten summer lights were like a seven and a half and this is probably an eight or nine yeah only because like in the summer even though it was beautiful because it stayed light so yeah. long we were able to get like the full brightness of yeah. the lights and i mean i think we got here like 7 30 during yeah. the summer and i mean it was light for another hour yeah so that's why we got that's here. why i kind of like the z lights because it's, yeah. it's it's a lot brighter it's beautiful yeah. Yes, yes it is. I'm coming. What are they? I see dolphins with a present. And what do you think those are? Like eels? No, no way that's eels. Those are eels? You don't think so? No. to you Bella octopus? Not a, well well yeah you're right that's an octopus over there and what's what kind of fish do you think that is Wyatt clownfish Good clownfish them they are little octopuses aren't they Nice. Nobody likes so for creepy this time. 
Oh, there was a bug that went in my nose. That's what happened the first time. I was like, oh, God, a oh, bug in my nose. Right when it took. <laughs> All right, smile, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are those? It's a gun drop. They're pretend. Oh, they're pretend. Oh, that's so I'm sad. I was kind of hungry. I wanted a big gun drop. So we're in the back where like the gorillas and the apes and that are at the zoo and this is kind of like their wintry snowflake land. This area is really quiet, really nice, there's not a lot of people back here. So if you're looking to escape from all the, the noise and the crowds and a lot of the crazy kids, um, there's like hardly anyone back here so I would definitely recommend it. Arctic fox, a polar bear. Oh, 
That's my other child. Hey, <laughs> Like this area is like over Oh no! Frosty! You got injured! <laughs> Poor Frosty. He needs, a, he, needs, he needs a medic. Well, the lighting should be interesting because so don't mind if we turn bright blue during this outtake. Yeah. But what was your overall thoughts of zoo lights? It was good. So um, what? So let's start with pros. Pros. I mean, it, it's it's a great event put on by Jacksonville Zoo. I mean, every event that we've been to, I mean, I I have yet to not be impressed. And well, especially this year. I mean, they went out yeah. this year with the lights they did a lot more this year than they have the last couple i think of... the very first yeah when we came here last year it was just it was very disappointing actually yeah. yeah and then this year i mean last year it was at like the height of covid so that yeah. there was that too this year i mean they're back in full swing um plenty of areas to walk through I mean, there was a little bit of something for everybody. I mean, there's your traditional Christmas lights, traditional what we what people would call zoo lights. Then they had the whole Asian garden section. Yeah, the dragon is permanently placed out here. They yeah. did that. I think that's usually out every year, they said, and they even touched it up when fixing it up, uh, making the scales brighter and yeah. more detailed. So that's a it really neat thing it. that's going to be out here permanently and yeah. not just for the holidays. Cons. So, I mean, the technical difficulties, that was a big thing. Um, Some of the lights, again, were out. Yeah. You can find that sometimes. And then if, like, you don't have enough staff to go around yeah. to make sure that they are properly working, um, sometimes that can be a disappointment. Um, tonight, I hope it's not like this for you guys when you guys come yeah. out. But tonight, there's a lot of crazy kids from older kids to really young kids, um, kind of very not behaving well. I wouldn't even, uh, it's not just that, it's like, it's just like when over, you get into, when, you get, excitement. Into, when yeah. you get into crowds like this, kids get obnoxious. And that's, that's what it is. I mean, it's big crowds, kids trying to show yes. out for people. That's what I've noticed the most this evening. Okay, well, I think I'd have to dispute against that a little bit because like at Disney, I mean, there's tons of kids at Disney. Yeah, but there's something specifically to keep the kids occupied there. Here, this is... Walking. Yes. There, I mean, there's no... Other than the carousel, there's no real attraction. Okay. I guess I can maybe understand that. And then, lastly, I mean, the other thing with the IT piece. I mean, we spent over half of this, like, without being able to buy anything. I think within the last, like, 35 or 40 minutes... Um, from what we've seen, people have been able to start buying stuff. Um, but the whole zoo went down earlier. Every, from what we were told, all of the booths in the zoo went down. No, nobody was able to take any type of payment or anything. I'd say you have to take your pick though too. Um, if activities are more important to you here, like for example, we didn't do the roasting of the marshmallows. Yeah. and standing in line for cotton candy yeah. and standing in line for Santa. Yeah. We didn't do any of that because that takes a lot of your time. So I think you have to pick what's right for your family, whether you're into the extra activities or if you want to just come out here and enjoy the lights. 
Um, pro tip, I think start in the back of the zoo um, when you first get in and then work your way back to the front because everyone's doing the stuff up front first where it's more crowded. We're toward, like, I mean, right now where we're at, I mean, there's no one back here. Of course, it's getting towards closing time, I think, too. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for coming out this evening. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna end this adventure this evening. Uh, please do not forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. Once you hit that, hit the little bell, get notified whenever we drop a video. Um, look forward to the, all of, no. look forward to every Tuesday uh, for us dropping a video. And again, thank you so much for coming with us this evening. Yep. Bye bye. <laughs>